In our study of solid state relays with SCR outputs, I thought it would be a good idea to go over the theory of SCR output optocouplers. Ah, mouthful. You see one illustrated here. This is the H11CX. X can be 1 through 6. That has various differences in LED drive currents and voltages that these can handle. I've used a number of these and you'll see these coming up in more circuits. So let's take a little closer look at this device. What is the difference between a photo SCR versus a standard SCR? Let's take a look at the circuit here on the left. You could think of an SCR as a PNP and NPN transistors connected as shown. When you press SW1, you get a small current through this resistor and it flows into the base emitter circuit. And the emitter circuit of the NPN transistor is known as the cathode. The anode has to be positive, so when you have a current, a small current flowing through the base of Q2, Q2 cuts on, draws a current through the emitter base junction of Q1, turns Q1 on, and they turn each other on, and they stay turned on until such time that you break the current path between the anode and the cathode somewhere. That's a property of SCRs, which is why, for the most part, they're useless in DC circuits, but great in AC circuits where we do move back to zero when you cross the uh, zero crossing point. On the right is a drawing of my version of a photo SCR. Instead of a standard uh, tr transistor for Q2, Q4 is a phototransistor. So when we turn on the LED, light falls onto the base of Q4, and this releases various, various charges in the base circuit and causes a small current to flow from base to emitter. Does the same thing as before, the collector current from Q4 creates a current through the emitter base circuit of Q3, the PNP transistor, and it turns on. And it will stay turned on until such time that the voltage from anode to cathode goes to zero or the current path is broken. Let's briefly look again at half-wave rectification of an AC sine wave. Here is your di single diode, there's your load. If you put an oscilloscope across the load, you'll only get the positive half cycle. The rest of it is nothing. The and your average voltage, the formula is something like RMS times 0.9 divided by 2. In reality, the SCR circuit here does the same thing as this. It's a half wave rectifier, but with a difference. It only conducts when I press switch SW4. And this diode is used to block the negative half cycle from the gate. In these circuits, you have to trigger the gate. For, this is the anode side. You have to trigger it from the anode side or supply a completely different voltage source from somewhere. Nonetheless, press SW4 and your RMS, your voltage across your load, in this case I put in a light bulb, is RMS times 0.9 divided by 2. If it's 24 volts AC going in, you're only going to get about 10.8 volts average coming out. So the light bulb will not be very bright. All right, looking back again, this is an example of full wave rectification. I'm using both half cycles through this diode bridge and my average voltage is going to be something like there's several ways to do it if you want to go through these formulas it's on my page on AC rectification but nonetheless my voltage it's going to have assuming we have 12.6 going in 
it's going to have a peak of 18 volts. Its average is going to be RMS times 0.9 again, or 11.4 volts. So for the rest of the discussion in the circuits I'm presenting, I'm going to use full wave rectification for that reason. All right, here is an example of an H11C4 LASCR output optocoupler. Instead of having to press a switch, I merely turn on an LED emitter, and of course the LED will turn on the photo SCR. In the case of these units, they're rated for about 300 milliamps max. So if I have an Arduino or something like this, and I apply 5 volts, LED turns on, LASCR turns on, and as long as your load is under 300 milliamps, um, you can light up the light bulb. And I'm inputting full wave DC. Now these things have a voltage rating depending on which one you get, I think, 250 or 400 volts. Over here to your right is, is the actual outline, if you can see it, of the optocoupler from the spec sheet. While the H11CX series of optocouplers can draw, can switch light loads, most often they are used to control heavier current SCRs. In this case, you get a uh, high output from an Arduino, the LA, the, light, the SCR turns on the small one. In the optocoupler, it, hel it helps supply a gate current to this uh, larger SCR, and of course this turns on the load current and so forth. I'm using 24 volts full wave in. This is pulsating DC, not filtered DC. Remember, this operates as an SCR and needs to, um, and needs to be using AC or pulsating DC, and that's the circuit here. This has a lot of uses in industry, as we shall see. Here is another illustration of the H11C4 optocoupler. I've redrawn it to, it's being used to switch on this um, BT137 SCR. You notice from, I'm triggering it from the anode side of the SCR, and I'm limiting the gate current through a 270 ohm resistor. There's been questions about this on some of my circuits on the internet. You must absolutely have this 47 or 56K resistor that's connected between the optocoupler gate to the cathode. If you don't, it, it will fire erratic and so forth. This controls the firing point and keeps it stable. As an alternate circuit, I'm sure some of you have seen these, the MOC3011 series of optocouplers, you could insert a diode, as shown here, between the anode on the SCR through the diode, as shown here, through the MOC3011, which happens to have a photo triac, and it works pretty much as the same as the circuit up here. So if you're having trouble finding this type of optocoupler, you can use this configuration as shown here with the MOC3011. For those of you that have used my circuits with an Arduino to control the turn-on phase or intensity of a light or whatever with a zero crossing detector, guess what? Works the same with these SCR based optocouplers as well. This has a lot of use in industry as we shall see shortly. Again, you have a zero crossing detector. This is just a 
basic diagram. And out here is my optocoupler. Instead of a triac based optocoupler, I'm using the SCR based optocoupler. Or you can use the uh, trick back here, does the same thing. 